Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatic. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some updated tools and techniques for my winter wash. So I've showed you guys a couple of videos over the years and this time around, I'm gonna be doing things a little bit differently. Instead of using the Solo sprayer, which is great, this is great. And these are easy to use and they're only 20 bucks. I'm actually gonna be using my professional IK6 Inox sprayer. So this is a professional sprayer with a built-in uh, air compressor valve. So that's going to be set. This is already mixed and already pre-diluted. We got the small Auto Fanatic foamer here. This is going to be for the wheels. And this time around, we're going to be using this new product called Salt Away. The reason I'm going to be using this is because the product that I showed on my channel was made by a company called Starbright, and it's called Salt Off. The reason I don't want you guys using that is because it contains PTFE Teflon. It is extremely uh, hazardous to your health. And to be honest with you, considering what everybody's been going through for the last 12 months with respiratory virus that's going around uh, wiping people out, I really don't want to suggest any of you guys using anything with PTFE. It's very hazardous to your health. This product here is 100% safe, non-toxic, biodegradable, and it's considered a green product. So we're going to be pretty much using this product in the Inox 6 to do a pre-treatment on the entire painted surface of the car. We're going to be using the Modified Auto Fanatic Wheel Woolies, and I got my buckingizer here, and we're going to be doing the wheels. But I just want to show you guys the condition of the car, and the weather has been absolutely atrocious all winter. We've been getting hit with multiple snowstorms every single week. You know, the car is disgusting. So this is not going to be a detail. This is just going to be a maintenance wash. We want to get all of this junk off the car because what's going to happen is the more you keep this on the paint, every time you get in and out of your car and you touch these surfaces, you're going to be leaving micro scratches. That's why I'm such a fanatic when it comes to upkeep of my cars, because especially when you get into the trunk of your car, you know, you're touching the back. This, this here gets really loaded with road salt. You know, we have the exhaust tips. Everything is, you know, pretty trash. I mean, the car was actually a lot worse about a week ago. And then I did a wash and I froze myself doing it, but you know, it kept the car cleaner. But I think it's time to do another one, and I'm going to show you guys step by step. You know, look at that. I mean, it's disgusting. So we want to neutralize all the salt. We want to get it all off the car, you know, and we're going to leave some protection. We're going to be using, on this time, when we drive the car, we're going to be using the Autofanatic 007 Gloss Enhancer, the revised version for 2021, which is an SiO2-based spray sealant and quick detailer. So we're going to get started right now. I'm going to show you guys quick. We're going to charge up the IK6. We're going to walk around the car. We're going to do a pre-treatment. We're gonna let that sit for a while, then we're gonna do the wheels individually, one at a time, we're gonna get that done. And then we're gonna get the foam cannon, and I'm gonna get some Auto Fanatic 007 Snowstorm. And I'm gonna put a cap full of this solution in the foam cannon as well. Just in case I miss any areas, the velocity of hitting the car with the snow foam and this product is gonna get any spots that I missed inside the bumper crevices around the windshield moldings and everything like that. So we're gonna get started right now, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. So what I did on this IK Inox 6, I filled it up to about a gallon and a half of water, and I added a few ounces of the salt away. So now we're going to charge it, and this has a built-in pressure relief valve right here, okay? So you can't overcharge it. So we're going to fill it up. And this thing is great because this thing takes a hell of a lot of air. Okay, so we got it up there. Now we're gonna get the wheel cleaning foamer all set and done. Okay, that's how you know you exceeded your pressure is the pressure relief valve's gonna go. So let's just grab the IK6. And uh, this has a professional stainless steel lance, which is really cool. And we're gonna just go around the car Okay, you can see that's the solution. We're gonna hit the wheels too, why not? But the goal is, we want this solution to break up any of the salt deposit. You can see with this professional sprayer that it comes out at a much higher velocity than a solo sprayer or even a sure shot sprayer. And I've showed those on my channel many times. And you can see, I only charge it up one time, and we're able to do full coverage on the vehicle. And that's why I want to show you guys some updated processes, because, you know, I've changed things along the way for more efficiency and speed. That's what I'm all about.
So we got really nice coverage on the entire car. Auto Fanatic 007 Snowstorm in the foam cannon, and we're gonna throw a cap full of this product in there as well. And then we're gonna do a contact wash, of course. And we still have, we still have a little bit of air in the IK6, but we're gonna put that to the side. We're not gonna use it. We're gonna discharge that, put that to the side. Now we're gonna get to the next step of this wash, or we're gonna do the wheels. All right, guys, so after I did the salt away, I gave it a quick high pressure rinse of about 2000 PSI. So just because I don't want it to sit on the car while the sun is out right now. So now you can see the wheels, they're totally trashed and I'm just gonna be using the Autofanatic Foam at 5.0. And you guys also asked me a lot of times why I don't do a pre-rinse. Well, the reason for that is if you see the foam density, how more it's much more of a wetter foam than what you're gonna get with an IK foamer. It actually works a lot better as far as cleaning. That's what I've discovered and that's why I'm exclusively selling these in the Autofanatic web shop. So we're just gonna take my modified wheel woolies. We're gonna go in there, just do this. And we're just gonna take our time because we, we gotta get all this junk off, off of here. And also the Autofanatic wheel cleaning foam, it has multi-stage corrosion inhibitors built into the formulation. So it's gonna be a, a very good idea to do that now as well, especially since all the salt has been attacking all your metals and all your finishes. Inside the barrel. Yeah, this stuff is nasty. Whatever, whatever they're throwing, the rock salt and stuff, it's like brown nastiness. Okay. Small detailing brush. We're gonna go inside the lug pockets. Just like that. Hit the caliper a little bit. And it becomes almost a therapeutic process. I enjoy cleaning wheels now with the system that I created. And a lot of you guys do too. All right, so that's the basic clean. I'm going to hit it again. I'm going to do the tire as well. And I don't usually use uh, tire dressing over the winter just because of the driving conditions and the temperature and all of that. So you guys get closer, you can see all the junk that's coming off. And that's just with this little second quick foam. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna take the wheel woolly, just go around. And that's going to get any kind of salt and junk off the uh, tire. So I got the machine in the garage. I'm going to actually knock down the pressure. It's a little bit too powerful, but you can see that there. One, two, three, it's pretty much done. So we're gonna wrap up the rest of the remaining three wheels. Sometimes in this world I feel so lost Misunderstood, got my wires crossed I won't go put into words what I'm trying to say Took a wrong turn, I won't find my way Oh, sometimes in this world I feel so lost Misunderstood, got my wires crossed Oh, I'm going to
All right, guys, so just want to give you guys a progress shot to show you what we got. All four wheels, barrels, calipers, everything's clean. We got most of the salt off the bottom of the car, done with that pre-treatment using the IK Inox 6 and the Salt Away solution. So we're going to put the Autofanatic 007 Snowstorm in a foam cannon. Going to throw a little bit of the Salt Away in there as well. We're going to blast the car. We're going to let it dwell for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to do a quick contact wash. We're going to blow dry with the Ego 650 blower. And we're going to do a final dry and touch up with Autofanatic 007 Gloss Enhancer. So got the foam cannon filled up. Got four ounces of the Autofanatic 007 Snowstorm right here. Now I'm just gonna take some of this stuff. This stuff is blue. It's really concentrated. I'm just gonna put a little bit, just like that. I'm just gonna throw a capful in there just to see if it's gonna help further break down any salt deposits that I may have missed. Okay, so shake it up. And you can see it's gonna turn my soap a light blue, but it shouldn't cause any harm and I've done this many times and it does seem to work really well. You guys will see in the foam runoff that's more of that salt and stuff that's coming off just from the surfactant blend of my soap with a little bit of that salt away it's all coming clean and I haven't even agitated sit for a couple of minutes and then we're going to grab my modified wash mop kit we got everything ready here and then we're just going to do a light contact wash this modified wash mop thing it just makes life so much easier and i actually got hurt about a week ago i slipped on some ice so i'm having a really hard time bending and i tell you one thing i wouldn't be washing my car now if i had to sit down and bend using a microfiber mitt Superb lubrication, very little effort. There's like no downward force that I'm putting on this right now. I'm just using the natural weight of my cleaning instrument. Now, whatever spots you miss in any of those highly detailed areas, you just go do it again. So the sides of the car are usually what gets trashed. It's nice and slow over the wheel arch area because as this thing bends over, you got a flat spot here. You don't want to miss that. Just like that.
we're doing this washing direct sun it's about 37 degrees right now I have no issues of water spot issues all right we're moving right along we're almost done And like I said, if any of you guys have any kind of techniques that you want to share, you know, you're always welcome to post it in the comments or send me an email. But, you know, a lot of you guys have been watching my older videos as winter's been kicking everyone's butt across the country, including down in Texas. They're asking me, has my process changed? And I said, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing an updated video as soon as weather permits. And that would be this one. Okay. Contact wash is fully done. Let's just take you around so you guys could see all the dirt and salt. You see, you see the color in the foam? That's everything that's coming off this car, everything that came off this car throughout this winter wash. Now let's get over here. We've got some nice patch right in the sun. See all that brown? It's all the road salt and junk that's been inside the wheel wells. Got some tar, anything that came off the wheels. I mean, just look at this stuff. This stuff is fat. It fascinates me when I see the process in action. I mean, just look at this. Super, super cool. So that's it. I'm not really concerned about my driveway freezing today. It's definitely above freezing. So we're going to pull this back, set that up, and we're going to go for the rinse downstage. So if you guys are paying attention to the water behavior, as I'm doing it, you can see how the water is beating and repelling off the car. That's because the car is protected and I used the Autofanatic 007 gloss enhancer and I was using Autofanatic Hydro Gloss. There's no wax, there's no ceramic coating on this. I've just been using these synthetic based toppers and you can see the results. The shine is there, the water repellency is still there. Even after I used all these chemicals to clean the paint, it still did not dissipate. And that's what you want. So we're gonna grab the Ego Blower. We're gonna uh, blow it dry real quick. All right, so here we go. Now pay attention to how quickly the water moves off the surface. But we're gonna leave some water on because we, I wanna show you that new drying towel and everything that's all, that's all about. So you guys can see the car after it's blow dry. I missed a couple of spots during the contact wash right down there and a spot there and one down there in the corner. Not a big deal. I'm gonna hit it with the Autofanatic 007 and uh, that new drying towel. So let me go grab. All right guys, we're at the final stages of drying. So this is the new drying towel I wanted to show you guys. It's a thick, double-sided, twisted loop design, very similar to the Griot's Garage PFM, very heavyweight. It's edgeless. And I bought this from AutoGeek, so I'll probably post uh, an item description in the video description if you guys want to check these out. They, they're sold in a pack of two, and I think they're $47. You get two towels, really good size, and I absolutely, you know, so far I've been testing them. Now also, AutoFanatic 007, this is the updated version. How do you know it's updated? It is 100% transparent pink. It's not solid pink. That's how you're going to know this is also in stock on Amazon and through the AutoFanatic website. Now when we do the next bottling run, there will be an updated label, but for now we had thousands of labels already on hand, so we just bottled it with the existing label and we just changed the item description on the website. So the difference between this and the standard 007, which we still make, is it gives you a little bit longer work time. And that was specifically done for people in Florida, Texas, Arizona, where you're doing the stuff in very high heat and in direct sun so that's it you guys could see 
100% streak free. It's got insane hydrophobic protection and also the towel glides off that paint so there's no friction whatsoever. That's gonna keep the car cleaner longer. So you guys can see it there. That's just with a simple Ego, quick dry, and we're gonna do the rest of the car. Now I'm spraying it liberally. You don't have to if you have more water on the car or if you have your towel ready to roll, but you can just see how quick and easy it is to use this as a drying aid. And any spots that I missed, just gonna hit it again, just with this product. And we're gonna get all that residue off. And I tell you, I'm really liking these new towels. I definitely like them. And I definitely am all about a good value. And that's why I wanted to talk about it in this video. Because maybe some of you guys are using them, but so far I'm really happy with them. I don't know how long they're gonna last, uh, that seems to be my issue when I test out towels, is that after a couple of washes, they start to not be as efficient anymore. You can see the results. Direct sun, no streaks, no swirl marks, no hazing. It's flawless. This car looks freaking amazing, the paint, when it's clean. And you would never know that this car stays outside 70% of the time, and it's battled three <laughs> New York winters. You would never know it for a black car. So usually after a contact wash, I like to put 007 on the paint liberally just because, especially if you're you know, doing a salt decon like I just did, because you want to get as much protection as possible considering that it's a little too cold now to do any waxing. So this formula works great. All right, we're gonna just leave the doors open, let the car drip dry. I said, thanks for watching this winter wash updated video. I just wanna show you guys some new stuff that I'm doing. Now, like I said, the Salt Away, that's a new product. And instead of using the, uh, the Solo Sprayer, I'm using this to do the pre-treatment. But you see the car, you see the results. Absolutely phenomenal. And that's it, even though the car's gonna get trashed again, at least it's clean, at least it uh, looks presentable, and gives me peace of mind. So like I said, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Auto Fanatic channel. Stay tuned for more content as weather permits and winter winds down, and I'll be doing some videos on some updated Auto Fanatic products, techniques, and other stuff as well. So stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Thanks, guys.